<laughs> Welcome back. I'm still not used to this camera, but we'll see how it goes. Um, before I start with the design paper, I thought I would definitely want to use these nice um, authentic um, name cards. Let, let's call it that. And I want to glue them on top. So if this is standing up in the carousel, then you can flip each one of those goes by. So yeah, I really don't know. I think I first need to count them, but I hope I think I have enough. Um, so I am going to put these first on top. And what I did was uh, I just grab when you are going to start this, you grab two and you put them on each other so you have the same size and you cut these a little shorter then I'm going to punch these so I have a nice round edge and I'm going to use this punch I thought I was using my X cut, but this is too big. I don't like that. So that is why I'm going to use this one, because this one do have smaller corners, which I like. Okay, my nail gets stuck. <laughs> Alright, so then I'm just going to smooch these with my distress ink and I'm going to use a vintage photo and even on the back side there is the same word on it I'm still going to use two of those because that's that gives it more sturdily uh, it's more st yeah sturdy so if you are putting design paper on, then I know that I will have a nice edge and that is where I want my, um, my label. So I want this exactly as I want to put um, my design paper on. Oh my gosh, I hope it makes sense. But anyway, First I make the first one only just a little a little on so I will stay away same as my design paper stay a little away okay that will do and then we go to the other side and then I glue this completely on and that is why I first cut out the two equal so I can glue these two nicely on each other here we go if they are meant to be there here we go so that is that so if I put some design paper on, then I still have those nice edge, which I like. See? Perfect. Alright. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do. Um, should I do this first? Well, you know me, I will forget it if I don't do this all. all. I really like like that they are yeah so I'm first going to do this all and then uh, I'll come back to you for the design papers yay <laughs> all right and then it's done making um, these little tabs I love it hope you can see it too I just adore it so Okay, so let's start with 
the first base page and let's see what we are going to do with it so we have a flip page and a nice pocket and another flip page so I was seeing I really think that I'm going to do the clear pocket on top just because I like that um, so let's see what I like to do with the clear uh, extra tag I want to make um, let's see Mm, okay, just one second. Alrighty, hello and good morning. Um, today I am going to see what I'm going to do with the base pages that we already made. And um, I thought with the, with the flip base page, I thought it would be nice to make that clear pocket I showed you earlier when I tried it out. Um, but I decided to use uh, the new die from Crealis and I used the middle ones so these are the middle ones that fit perfectly for the ATC cards and this is the uh, the CLBLT 1 4 and I'm going to check if I am correct yeah number 14 just checking <laughs> all right so I use the bigger one um, the middle the middle size of this big labels and tags it's a brand new one so really awesome thought it will be giving a nice extra effect and you also have the little one but that is not what I used right now but I think I'm going to use it for something else I have in my mind Anyway, you can order that on www.crealis.nl, but I will put the link below. So, anyway, I am going to do first a show of... A show, really. Not a show. <laughs> well, it's kind of show. Anyway, I cut out the large tag. Then I put some design paper on it. And then I created a clear pocket. Um, for the next I bit, which I'm going to show you, I am going to make it a little lower because now it's deeper than um, than the clear uh, pocket, and then it's really hard to pick that out before uh, whipping off this uh, paper because the plastic do not attach that very good on the paper. So the next thing I'm going to try is um, double-sided tape instead of glue. So that is what I'm going to change. Um, then I put some um, cotton lace on and a Prima Marketing little um, yeah, button, but it's, it's kind of a string actually, but I cut it off. Then on the back, I leave it open. Oh, oh yeah. I just pulled out, why now not? Oh, what happened here? I just pulled it out, what happened? Oh, Jesus! What happened? Oh, I put some glue just just yet. Oh my gosh, okay. Anyway, I put a little booklet in, but I glued a little paper on so you can write on. Okay. And then on the back, I made a little a smaller one, but also just keep the pocket a little um, lower, the clear pocket, so you can easily attach um, the tag to pull out and on the back I leave it open I made a little photo frame mat really like that and I did a little doodling on the sides really cool okay so that is what we're going to do on the black paper too so yeah stay tuned so okay we have the black paper and the first thing I'm going to do is I, I already cut out of course my tag which I am going to put the large design paper on and what I did was this is actually one um, one size of the paper that's why I decided to make one large and one small otherwise I thought it will be um, a waste of paper so that is my why I decided oh, 
want to use this one. That's what I decided to make a larger one and a small one. So let me first glue this on. to wrap that around and now I wanted to make it a little lower so let's grab a ATC which one will fit well this one will do so now I am going to see how deep this is going to be yeah this is definitely lower so that is a perfect size so what I'm going to do is I am going to wrap this all the way around using my ATC gun perfect for it wrap it around make sure your tape is attaching really well now I'm going to cut corners and then I cut what sticks over and then again laying it flat and put some oh. and then wrap it around and the other one the other side of course exactly the same pocket and now this is um, not that deep not that high so now I can attach this easily in and out so that was a mistake I made before okay so now I'm going to attach this one on top of this page but I want some background of course so let's say Let's use this piece. I don't have to use completely um, all the way down because the tag is already a nice size. So I'm just using what I need to use. Okay, let's cut this out. Glue this down. And now I'm really curious if I am going to use double sided tape if the tag with the clear pocket is better attached than I'm using the glue. So, fingers crossed if that is the case. Because I don't want that my tag is coming loose when I use the back one. And I don't have to make an opening at the back, but you know me, I really like that. So, I really like as much as space as I can to put something in. I like secret pockets. Okay, let's peel this off. And let's glue it down. Okay. There's no time to wiggle, so it has to be perfect right away. Here we go. Okay. That's done. 
Oh yeah, I forgot something. I forgot to make my cotton lace on. And that's now not possible. Oh well. You can still glue only a little button on it. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, still like it, don't you? Yeah. Now I can do a little decoration on top of here, but I will leave it for now. I think I want to use the corner one, because this is just, if it's just cutting out paper. Yeah, perfect. Okay, yeah, go for the next page. Okay, let's go to the other side. Well, that's actually exactly the same, of course, but let's do this together. So we use the smaller version. Well, not exactly the smaller version, but just a leftover piece that I want to use. Okay, let's glue this on. Uh, we get a phone call. Alright, that was my mom. She is planning to give me a visit any second. So, alright. Um, yeah, let's do the pockets with this one too and just see where it goes and for you it's really hard to see I know I'm sorry but <laughs> let's leave it here do the exactly same thing cut a little corner and a double away so you don't get any necessary bulk all right let's go down is just a little too large so I am going to try to trim it off we don't need that long So now I really don't going to forget using some twin and you just can squeeze the ends for a nice old vintage look. Yep, and then just fold it double. And then I'm going to use stapler. And again a little button. Well, it's not a button, but a little embellishment. Glue that on top. Actually, 
Now I see what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Actually now I'm covering up the nice edge. Hmm. And I think this is too long. What do you think? Yeah, this, this looks better. What do you think? This is way better. All right, and then we can attach a nice one. Hmm. I like this one too. Yeah, this one fits better. So, yeah, now it's done, and now I can attach it to the back. Let's see which, if I have enough for the back. Let's see. This should be going right there. And then this, oh yeah, this fits perfectly. Oh gosh, really. If I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> well, actually I am, but... I know you are listening to me. <laughs> gosh, 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 gosh. I have a few days left for my trip to London and I'm so excited, but I am also very terrified for it. And you know why? I'm going to tell you why. I hate buses. Well, I don't hate buses, but sitting in a bus, I really hate that. Because the chairs are always very uncomfortable and you have very less uh, place for your legs. And um, well, an hour I can take, and two hours it should be okay. But now I really have to sit in the bus all night. We leave at night at 10 o'clock, and we should be arriving the next day early morning at 8 or 9 o'clock. Oh my gosh, that's 10 or 11 hours in the bus. I'm terrified, really I am. I hate that. And the reason why I hate it, what I just told you, I have a really bad back. And um, yeah, it, it, it's cloudy, a lot of people in it, and it, it's less space in it. Plus, uh, and I don't know about you guys, but I really have to go often to the bathroom to make a pee. <laughs> I really do, I really don't know why, but I really have to go a lot in a one day. Even in my sleep, I have to go sometimes two, three times. Um, but that really makes me wondering if there is a toilet in. And if there is a toilet, then it should be very, very small and tight. And guys, I hate very, very tiny rooms. I'm not claustrophobian, but well, a little, <laughs> a little, just a little. So, oh my gosh, I really can have dreams about it already. So, gosh. So, wish me luck for it, but really I am terrified for it. Anyway, now you can, now that I did the, um, the clear lower than what I was trying to put in is really easy to pull it out. So that was my mistake for the first one. Going to see if I can fix that with perhaps a nice cut. We'll see if I can do that. Um, otherwise I have to put another card in that's higher. So, but now I need a pin set. Oh. Okay, but I will see if I can cut just a little lower. But I think that my mom has arrived, so I'm going to see and have a nice cup of tea with her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hmm, back in one sec. Okay, well, as I told you, my mom came 
to visit me but um, that went that visit went longer than I expected well I must have that bought the lunch with him so we had a long comfortable uh, lunch together with the three of us and well the rest of the day I spent my time doing my home homework I was telling you but my cleaning my house and in the evening I also get occupied with something else so the rest of the day I did not craft anything but um, today it's a new day and let's see how far we get today um, okay what I did on the inside is um, put the leftover papers on the left side and covered it up with a little piece of lace and then I will do exactly the same on the other side but then I used a complete sheet then on the inside I used this paper on each side I used my leftover clear so I have a little tuck spot right here and then this opens up with a magnetic and then on the inside I made a little booklet with 10 pages of papers where you can write in. I leave them plain, just a little, um, I believe two stamps on it. Um, so yeah, you can write here lots of things on it. So that is what I put inside this pocket. And then it's easy to come out when this staying um, on the carousel. So you can flip this open like this and you can pull it out easily. That is the idea. So let's do this on the white one. Um, so I already covered up the inside. Well, that's really easy. Just using plain papers. But um, so I'm first going to do uh, the outside on this page. So let's see which one I am going to use. Um, I did not cut that out right yet. Perhaps I can use a leftover. Well, no, I think I will do not. So I'm going to cut out a piece of paper for this one and this one too. So be right back. Okay, let's see. I put on my design paper and I want another tuck spot using my leftovers and I'm just going to cut this on the right spot I'm going to cut this same size I'm going to you do this uh, with tape is a normally a stamping tool but I really like it with the handle but you also can use a clear acrylic block also a stamping tool but this one is from Crea Motion really easy but you also can use um, a nice stamping tool clear acrylic block uh, that's just for me because I do not have a very nice tin nails. Nope, I have acrylic nails and they do not peel these um, uh, tape off. Oh no, that's, that's what I use a picker for, but I really like to tear my tape with that block. It's just handy. Alright, um, let's see. This is the opening. This is my sweater. Okay, let's glue this on the right spot. Right there. This is my bone folder. So make sure that the tape is going nicely to the paper. And then we have it. You do not see the tape. I'll choose the little. And now we can tuck that in with a nice, what shall we do? I think this one fits perfectly. So you can tuck this nicely in like this. Okay, let's keep this out for now. 
Then we go to the closure. And now I want to use the black because I did on the front also this. So I'm either going to match the white and the black. So first thing I'm going to do is fold this in half. But be gentle. I do not want this to fold it right away. So this will give a nice, um, a nice little fold. Then I'm going to see where the middle is. And the middle is um, 10.4. That's about right there. Okay. Um, then I use two magnets. And I'm going to do the first one already on it. Yep. Okay. Now this is the middle. So I want this to go here. So what I'm going to do is put some tape on the inside of here. So that will do right away perfectly. Now, I did with the first one, already glued my design paper on. Oh, and before I forgot to mention it, <laughs> I did use um, the little, the little, uh, the smaller labels and tags. And this one is called the CLLT14. Um, if I get a closer look. Yep. And then I used the middle, the middle size of it really cute so it matches um, these tags so what I did with the first page uh, is was already glue on my um, design paper but I think that's a little too thick so now I'm going to do that afterwards and so I am going to see where this goes I put in that on oh I could use the back one too let's, let's use this one now and then um, this piece goes right at the front also needs a little cut off yep perfect Oh, I forgot to smooch the other one. It's a dark color, so it won't matter. But I forgot. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's put this on here. Right there. Okay. Now I first go into cut and put the other sheet on. Uh, what do you say? Can I use this one? No, I'm going to use this one. I really like the cream and the wet right along the sides. And it's the same as the background and I like that. Okay. Um, okay. I forgot. Almost. <laughs> 
to put my magnet on. Oh, I did hear you for those who <laughs> sometimes trying to help me. That was a close shot. Here we go, guys. Don't forget your magnet. Yep, there we go. Now we can glue this on. And for the larger pieces, piece of paper, I would like um, to use a cheaper glue, but will do the work also. Because our glitter glue is, in my opinion, a little expensive. But God, I love that glue. So I'm only going to use that on little pieces. Okay, so now this is on, and now this goes very nice, and now it's easier for me to put this piece right on here, and then the paper is nicely to bend. So what I did first was attach the design paper, let's say three layers. Well, this is a small piece, so I can use this. And um, then, in my opinion, it's really thick to bend. But I'm just switching the tape a little. There's just a little tape coming on. Okay, so that is that. Nicely touch the paper, and now this bends way easier, right, in my opinion. Yeah, that is. That's, that's way easier than when there are three layers bending. Yeah, okay. Well, I do like the size of it, but well, it's okay. Alright, so well, now it's time to make the insert of this one. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to make the same one, so please stay tuned if you want to see me doing that. Alright! I was, I was uh, meant to throw this away, but as you know, I always like to keep little things for other things. So, what I'm going to do is cut this one, if I can old one but yeah so I, oh, <laughs> I always use my leftovers so I will collect these and going to use them later so I'll put this in an, in a bin bin bad little basket and use it later so don't throw any little pieces away use it all you these are you going to find well, this is for clip clip punch. You also have a smaller one. You find these on many, many uh, cheap markets. Second hand. These are second hand, but I really love these. I want to see if I, there are better ones because these are really, really stiff using. But I really love these little shapes. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> for the, the little book note i am going to use black right now yeah and some paper and these i really like three four five and that was that was something that i bought a few weeks or a few months ago and i really love and let's see if I still have the cover. Yeah, that was this one. So, <laughs> I saved, I really like the font. Um, I bought this on a cheap store here in Holland and I really like the inserts, the paper. So I cut out the lace that, that bind it all together. And now I have it really in my sight because I really like using these papers. I really like the the, the, the thickness, it's not too thick, not too thin, and I really like using this for making oh, 
background or um, like like now for notes so yeah use whatever you have or whatever you're going to find you can use white paper you can use lined up papers whatever um, so first thing I'm going to do is cut out these holes we don't need the holes so that is the first thing I'm going to do then I am going to see how how high I want this I do, want, do not want it too high I think 19 will be a nice length so I'm going to cut that in 19 and that should be seven and a half inches for you guys I always collect leftovers so I can use them for a smaller um, notebook or booklet then I'm going to fold these in half and right here I think this should be done Oh, it's 7.8 or a large 3 inch and I think that will do that that's enough I think oh yeah that's good so I'm going to find a black cover um, oh there's a leftover let's see if this is wide enough I hope it is. And it is! Yeah! I'm going to cut this also at 19. Okay, so now I can attach these to each other using some clamps to hold it all in one place and then pick some holes in it well this is really easy of course well, same as making journals but let's do it one, one together there we go let's say use some ribbon Sew this all in. I always like to start in the middle, then go back forward, then go back in the same hole. Knob. 
that was pretty easy. Now I can fold it all nicely and tight. Okay, now I want this to cut equally. So I'm going to see where I want my cut. And I want it right there. Moving everything away, and this should be 7.7. .7. So I'll make another mark at the bottom, grabbing a cutting plate and a knife, and then I'm going to cut this. So the sides of the notebook are cutting all the same. Good holder. Really is steady. Okay, this worked very, very nice. So I have my little notebook ready. So now it's time to do some decorations. Um, yeah, I'm going to use again my um, corner jumper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the reason why I really like this is because they cut to a lot of papers at the same time. And that is what I like. That saves so much time to do nice corners. Ta-da! That's it. Really easy. Okay, so now it's time to decoration. I'm going to flip to the pages so they are not attached to each other. Because I just cut them and sometimes the papers then will stick to each other a little bit, but okay, that went well. Let's use um, a little stem on the inside. Just to give it something. And Use another one. Um, this. Yeah, perfect. Love these little, little ones. Also find these in a cheap store, so you don't have to waste that much money. If you find something, then go ahead and buy it. Okay. So let's do some decorations and see what I do have left. I always like to use first what I have left. Let's use this. And let's say these three are the same. Um, I'm going to do so. I'm going to fold these in half. So I have two of the same sizes, but first I'm going to put this on because this is already the right size for me. Let's check if these are the same here. 
Let's cut this piece. So I can cut these at the same time. Saving time. Saving time. Jumper. Put it on. Alrighty. It's getting there. Let's make this on the bottom. And this for the top. Easy peasy making using your leftovers. Ta da! Like it. Now you can do exactly for the same thing on the back. Um, perhaps I will do that. Or I will do that later. It's also a possibility that I will do that later on. So you also can use this little strip. Use it all guys. Really. Use it all before you go to the next new sheet. And you also stay focused with um, with your leftovers. With your uh, design papers. So let's say, um, oh this is really short, okay let's say, let's use this for the bottom, oh yeah, yep, then I waited too long, and then you need to stick your pin in. Yeah! And then finally the first page is done. <laughs> For my opinion this takes um, way too long but hey. Crafting is no rushing things. We need that time. Okay, let's say what do I want to use for the back? If I do this, then it needs some dark in it. If I use this, then I can use... This in the middle. Wow, options. We have too much options. What do you think about... This in the middle and then use these. I think that's a better option. I think I want to cut this right away. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Got this shorter. And I also strips there that are not too small. I just save them. Save them for perhaps later. To cover up all sometimes pieces. As you know that already for me. where it should be oh, I think yeah alrighty this is the top one bottom one. Don't forget to smooch your edges. I always like that. That gives it just an extra finished job. Look, I think. It's a bit extra work, but hey, crafting should be relaxing time so yeah hmm. this one is a little off the record this is not a good cut do it again I hate a do not clean cut I hate that and it's not that I am a perfection perfectionist but Okay, well I let this dry and I still can use it for my little heart to cut out and this I also can use it. So yeah, here we go. I think I need to let this dry a little better. That last part that uh, went wrong because my memory card was full of my card for my new Sony camera, so I switched it with a larger one. But anyway, <laughs> that really feels awkward. But um, yeah, we finished it up the notebook, and I was filming the last uh, piece of uh, decoration for the background, but that went wrong. That the SD card was full. But anyway, we finished the notebook and that will fit in here. And then close this with the magnet. Put a card in this clear pocket and that's it. So, yeah, finally <laughs> we managed the first two uh, pages. So, up to the next one.